Hello there, welcome back to my channel Juella. So this is just going to be a really short brief video which I know sometimes I say that and then 10 minutes in I'm still talking but I can assure you it's going to be super short today basically because there's not a lot to tell you. So as you would have noticed by the title of this video it's a weight loss catch up video. So for the last couple of weeks my weight seems to have kind of stagnated at the same kind of weight. Now, give or take half a pound here and there, up and down, up and down, and the scales went haywire last week. I don't know what was happening with them. I hopped on the scales one morning and it said I'd lost three pounds. I was absolutely thrilled. And then I stood off and I went back on and it said I'd only lost two pounds. Stood off, went back on, one pound. Stood off, went back on, stagnated. Stood off, went back on, gained half a pound. And this was all within the space of like two minutes. So I don't know what was going on with them, but they just weren't telling the right kind of, you know, readings. So anyway, I left it that day and I thought, right, I'll come back to it another day and try again. But anyway, my weight does seem to have just stagnated, to be honest with you. I haven't particularly lost any weight over the last two weeks. I seem to be the same kind of weight that I was two weeks ago. So in total, from starting this diet on the 2nd of January, so we are two months and 10 days in now because it's the 12th of March today. I have lost a whopping <laughs> eight pounds, which isn't really all that much. But at the end of the day, I'm glad that it's off rather than on. So yeah, eight pound in total in two months and 10 days. Now, ideally, I would have liked my weight to have continued to come off. But for the last two or three weeks, I completely went off piece with my diet. I definitely still was sticking to the 16-8 intermittent fasting type thing that I was doing. I really was being quite strict with that. Most days, I would say, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, I was definitely sticking by that. But I started to eat little bits of chocolate, but more chocolate than I would normally allow myself. And then I had a packet of full fat crisps and then that turned into having some other bits and bobs that I kind of was trying to avoid eating. So anyway, yeah, I was just starting to get into that bad pattern again, like I said in my last video. So there's not a lot to update you with really. I've tried to get myself back on track over the last week, but it's been quite difficult. It really has with one thing and another. I've been a little bit under the weather with certain things, which has made us want to just crave comfort food that I really fancied eating and I didn't want to say no to. Not only that, I got my Asda shopping yesterday and when I was ordering it a few days prior to that, I thought, right, it's Mother's Day this weekend. I'll get a couple of little cakes in for, obviously, if my mum comes around with my dad for a cup of tea and a piece of cake. And if my mother-in-law comes around, then we've got some cake to, to offer people with a, a nice cup of tea. Because normally we don't buy cakes and stuff like that. We just buy little bits of chocolate. Anyway, so I bought a couple of cakes. But I bought an extra one, didn't I? Accidentally. <laughs> Not accidentally. I deliberately bought an extra one, guys because of the price £1.85 Belgian chocolate cake thing oh my god I had a slice of it yesterday it's not even Mother's Day yet but then I think well I'm a fur, fur doggy mummy so I'm kind of entitled to a nice little bit of cake as well so I had me cake and ate it guys so I literally had myself a piece of chocolate cake yesterday and I thoroughly enjoyed it so yeah I'm not going to beat myself up because I don't normally have stuff like that however if I am serious about getting back on this weight loss track, then I really need to start being a little bit more strict. I pretty much figured that around about two months in, my weight was going to start to stagnate. That is typically what's happened in the past, where I've really had to start working at it. Because like I said before, I've got a tag team of medications all fighting against us as if to say, we're not letting you lose any weight. So it is going to be tricky. It's going to be difficult. But I'm not going to sit and moan about it because it is what it is. If I'm serious about losing this weight, then I just need to be a bit more strict and say no to things like chocolate cake. But anyway, yeah, it's Friday. It's takeaway night tonight and I'm going to have my takeaway, guys. But I'm actually quite good with my takeaways. I don't have a big mountain full of food. At one point, sometimes I would, but I tend not to do that now. And it's Chinese night tonight, so I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, my current weight is 14 and a half stone, so it's 14 stone 7 pounds. 
Um, I'm hoping that next week when I come to do another weight loss update, which will be next weekend, I'm just making that clear because I know I'm a bit behind on these videos. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to be about one pound down. But that's if I stick to something. And I'm hoping I can stick to it. I really am. And I've got to do some more steps. Really got to do some more steps around the house. Even if it's just walking around the kitchen. Because I've got quite a big kitchen area. I've just got to make sure I do it. And, you know, put some music on and prance and dance along to the music while I do the dishes. Stuff like that. Anything that's physical activity and getting us moving is obviously a good thing. Anyway, so that's it. Five and a half minutes. I told you this was going to be quick. So there wasn't much to, else to update you on with the, the whole food and the, you know, weight loss because there hasn't really been any. I've stagnated. I've pretty much stagnated. But I haven't gained any. So I'm happy at that. There's no, there's no gains there. You could even say I've lost half a pound because I'm sure it said I'd gained half a pound the other week. But I hadn't really. It was to do with the weight just not kind of, you know, it was given a fluctuation. It was given a wave. And yeah, sometimes you can't trust the scales. Anyway, that's it. Um, not a lot else to say, so I won't keep you because I know that some people haven't got a lot of time to watch these videos and I don't have anything important or exciting to say, really. If you're currently on this weight loss journey with us, please let us know down in the comments how you're getting on, how you're doing with it, what type of foods you're eating, what things you're finding helpful, and just, yeah, sharing is caring and caring is sharing and vice versa and all that. Anyway, right, I'm going to get going because... I've got such a dry throat <clears throat> and I don't have a drink up here with us so I need to make myself a cup of tea and then come back on camera because I've got another video to do so yeah everybody thank you for watching and stick with us with for my next weight loss video next weekend where hopefully guys fingers crossed I would have lost a pound that's my target I'm just going to break it down week by week one pound a week and try my best to get there but this is for life. I'm not doing this to get into a certain dress size for a special occasion. The special occasion is life. And that's how you should always look at any kind of weight loss journey as more of like lifestyle hacks rather than diets. Diet's a dirty, dirty word. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care and bye for now.